This segment of Hack 5 is brought to you by The Ben Heck Show. Okay, so there's one really big problem that I have with learning to code. It's really boring. But if you make coding fun yeah. and social, shush, Darren. It is boring. That's why I only took one class in college. Anyway, but if you make coding really fun and social, it can be totally rejuvenating and rewarding and, well, awesomely fun. So there's this website called Code Academy where you can learn how to code JavaScript for free, yeah, totally for free, in your own home environment while you're watching like Battlestar Galactica on TV and you can be social about it with like Twitter and Facebook and everything. And it was just made by a couple of these dudes, Zach and Ryan, and they were totally frustrated with the less effective ways of teaching how to develop code. So they were like, eh, let's make a website. Awesome. So first off, what is JavaScript? This is the fun part. Yeah, it's a scripting language that's usually implemented in websites to make the site experience more user-friendly and enhanced. It also is used in desktop widgets and PDFs, et cetera, et cetera. It popped up around 1995 with Netscape. Do you guys remember Netscape? I do, it was horrible. And it was influenced by the Java programming language. To this day, JavaScript is still one of the most popular programming languages on the web. So, on Code Academy, your lessons are personalized. You can use your own words for the lessons and the chapters, and whenever you get past certain points, you win these awesome little badges. Totally cool. And myself, being an avid Foursquare and a Steam video gamer and a Get Gluer, Get Glue is awesome. You guys actually get real stickers. It's really, really cool. And things like that. I find this a really awesome concept that really, really sucks people in, like me. The lessons aren't written in geek speak or anything like that, so pretty much anyone can do it. I mean, seriously, what kind of classroom setting are you going to go to where they say it's time to become a coding ninja? That's pretty cool, right? I thought so. All right, so the website is really easy enough. You just have to read the directions and do what it says. So I already signed up for my own account on here, and you do need to sign up for an account if you want to collect badges and save your progress. You can come back at a later time and finish all your lessons. So, first thing I checked out was the courses over here. And this gives me a nice list of all of the different courses that you can check out. Right now, I'm just on the very first chapter, the Getting Started with Programming. So I can click in there, and it shows me what I've completed so far. So, one, two, three different lessons so far. And over here, I can also see my achievements. My, uh, let's see, first lesson achievement and 10 exercises achievement. So I haven't gotten too many so far, but I do have 120 points. That's pretty cool, right? All right, so I'm going to go down here to numbers and strings. That's the chapter that I haven't started yet. And over on the side, it's going to say, what about numbers? We know how to store words, but let's try the same thing. See, on the last lesson, I had learned about variables, how to save variables and go back and use them again. and kind of, you know, put stuff in quotes and remember to add the semicolon at the end and things like that. So this one says declare and set a variable named number to the value of 42. Numbers, unlike strings, shouldn't be surrounded by quotes. So I'll do a variable. And if you ever forget something, they have these nice little hints as well. So over here it says to declare and set a variable in a string line, you use variable name. So I type in variable capital name space equals and then variable value where, where variable name is the name of the variable value is the value you want to assign to the variable so this exercise told me to put in 42 so I'll write in number equals 42 And then it gives me a nice little green check mark as soon as I'm done, and it lets me move on to the very next chapter. Eventually, you'll get to the end, and it'll say completed, and you might earn a badge or not, depending on how far you've gotten along. So let's talk about the learning experience. Do you actually get taught anything? For myself, yes. When I was in college, I took one coding class. It was Intro to Java, and that's it. I have no coding ability whatsoever. So after taking a few lessons at CodeAcademy.com, I now know how to write a few simple JavaScripts. So if you're new to coding, this would be a really, really great place to start. It's easy, and you get social with it, and it's fun. 
it'll get your foot in the door so you can have a head start in more advanced material. So I'm impressed. Being a beginning coder, I'm not expecting to walk away from the site with the knowledge of like a genius, but after a few hours, I'll understand JavaScript a whole heck of a lot better, which is awesome for me. Now, do you guys have a comment about the website? You can email me over at feedback at hack5.org. Very soon, we'll be answering your viewer questions, but first, let's take a break and check in with Darren for the nibble. Join modding wizard Ben Heck and Friends as they build and modify a host of amazing community-inspired creations. And be sure to watch new episodes of The Ben Heck Show every two weeks right here at revision3.com slash tbhs. In the latest episode of The Ben Heck Show, during the lazy video game and football months of winter, Ben builds a device to promote even more laziness, a controller-mounted hot pocket dispenser. Stay tuned here at element14.com slash tbhs to find out how you can enter to win Ben's Hot Pocket Dispenser as well as the latest builds from his show. It's time once again for the nibble and this week I'm taking a break from Bash to point you guys at erky.github.com because following up with Shannon's uh, thing on JavaScript, I thought it was only apt to mention this wonderful JavaScript bookmarklet here. Really simple, all you have to do is drag this into your bookmarks bar, and then on any web page like this Google, awesome, awesome Google SOPA page here, we can uh, go ahead and just click the asteroids, and now we have like a little cool asteroid dude, and we can use our arrow keys to fly it around and get this space bar, shoots, and it actually gets rid of elements on the page. How fantastic is that? You can just sit here blowing up web pages all day long, like like uh, learnpython.org. I could bloop. And then, uh, I don't like that logo anymore. Woohoo! Anyway, I'm going to be having this for the rest of the uh, block, but uh, we'll be back in just a bit. <laughs> 